Hello, what is up guys? Welcome back again in the channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about the new thermal paste from Arctic, the MX6. This is a very recent release from Arctic and we are going to see whether this new thermal paste is performing as good as the MX Source that we all know. So starting from the packaging, it is actually pretty similar to the MX4. Uh, at one side of the packaging, you will see a barcode and you could scan this barcode to check the authenticity from the thermal paste that you have bought. The design of the tube is also very similar to the MX4, it's just the MX6 now has a turquoise color, but other than that, there is no many noticeable differences. In this video, I'm going to compare the performance of the new MX6, of course, compared to the old MX4. And then I also have another thermal paste here as well, like Cooler Master V1 IC Value, Cooler Master Master Gel Pro, and an Arctic Silver 5, and then lastly, the Noctua NTH2. In terms of consistency, I think the MX6 has more viscosity to it compared to the MX4 and if you take a closer look at the video, it is much more comparable to the Arctic Silver 5. So it is a bit condensed if you try to spread it, but it's actually not that bad. So the processor that I'm using right here is a Ryzen 5 5600G. As you all know, this is not a processor which produced a very high heat. So in order to reach that high temperatures, here I'm only using a CPU heatsink without mounting any fans. But here I still use 120mm fans at the front as an intake and then also at the back as an outtake. And also if you're curious about the case that I'm using right here, it is a Fantax P200A. The case came with two 120 millimeter fans and these two fans is exactly what I'm using for this test. Alright, starting with the Arctic Silver 5. At idle, the temperature is actually pretty good. It was sitting around 44 to 45 degrees Celsius, but then when I'm trying to run Cinebench R23, the temperature reached about 82 to 83 degrees Celsius. With the Cooler Master V1 IC value, the idle temperature is not very different, although it is a little bit lower. But at full load with Cinebench R23, it is actually a bit hotter compared to the Arctic Silver 5 and it has reached about 84 and 0.5 degrees Celsius. The next one is Cooler Master Master Gel Pro. At idle, as you can see, the temperature is much lower. It was sitting around 40 to 41 degrees Celsius, but the temperature at full load using Cinebench R23, it also reached about 83.5 degrees Celsius. And then now we have the famous Arctic MX4. At idle, the temperature is sitting around 40 degrees Celsius, very similar to Cooler Master Master Gel Pro. But at full load, the temperature is a little bit lower, about 1 degree Celsius, and it reached only about 82.6 degrees Celsius. And now we also have the famous Noctua NTH2. At idle, the temperature was sitting around 43 degrees Celsius. Again, I don't think it is really matter, but then at full load, the temperature reached at max about 82.5 degrees Celsius, which was just about the same as the MX4. And lastly, now we have the Arctic MX6. At idle, the temperature was sitting around 42 degrees Celsius, very similar to the Noctua NTH2. But then at full load, it was very surprising for me to see that the maximum temperature it had reached was only about 79.1 degrees Celsius. With that temperature, Arctic MX6 was the best performing thermal paste compared to other thermal paste that I tested in this video. It was actually quite strange that the Noctua NTH2 performed very similar compared to the MX4, but it was still beaten by the new MX6. Unfortunately for this test, I don't have a very powerful CPU which produces a very high heat, so that we could see how well the new MX6 performs in much higher temperatures compared to other thermal paste as well as its predecessor, the MX4. But I think you guys could still have an idea from this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Would you guys like to try this new MX6 or not? Or would you prefer just to buy another thermal paste brands? Or maybe just go with the MX4? Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you guys know when I uploaded a new video in English. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one.